<clears throat> okay, so how did we get here? Okay, so we look like I got a stain on my shirt. It's just a shadow. <laughs> Y'all are about to see, and I'm sorry about the echo in here. I'm in my bathroom. Maybe I should open the door. What y'all are about to see is my, or the remnants of my wedding hairstyle. I'll insert a picture of what it looked like before, you know, when it was actually like done. Don't <laughs> 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 right. We can turn around. Oh my God. <laughs> my wedding was like two weeks ago or so, maybe two and a half now. Um, so against the remnants of it, don't judge me, y'all. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, so here's the thing. Y'all saw I had a ponytail on there. I don't really wear weed for real, like at all. Not for any particular reason. I just don't. I'm typically natural. I mean, I think it mostly has to do with you know, without putting too much thought into it, just maintenance. It's easier for me. I feel like. Um, and cheaper but i don't really want to read y'all i managed to get the ponytail out by like cutting it you know it's one of those like wrap around ponytails or whatever um that where the tracks are wrapped around and it was in there tight when i say tight i mean tight so i used a combination of just like tugging and like i had to at first i was like trying to unwrap it and pull it but it was just so in there i just had to take the scissors and i had to cut the tracks y'all so the tracks bye bye so i did that but these bangs these bangs, y'all. Oh, goodness. It's bad. I know. My hair's been wrapped up, y'all. Don't judge me. I've been hoping the glue would just loosen after some days, you know? It would just kind of naturally have to come out, but I'm such a novice when it comes to anything non-natural hair. I've never even had a sew-in in my life, ever. Weave, tracks, wigs, all of that glue, especially. So if you're watching this and you know how to, uh, like, remove a glue-in or remove, like, tracks that are glued in. Please don't gatekeep and let me know in the comments. For now, we're just gonna make it do what it do. And we're gonna hope that my edges are still intact. Also, this is something random. Y'all see this scar on my face? I need y'all in the comments, uh, if you're watching this, in the comments to leave suggestions uh, for like scar remedies. Um, not that I'm super like pressed about it and I know, like I have some ideas, like, you know, the internet does exist, so I know some things. But I'm curious to see what people say, if anybody has any like specific remedies or recipes or products that they can vouch for. Um, to help with scarring or like evening skin tone, whatever. Uh, leave it down below. So you guys, I plan to do a like whole formal sit down video on marriage and just how it feels to be married in 2023 at 2023. I mean, I almost said at 2023 years old <laughs> at 23 years old <laughs> um, in particular. So, you know, being relatively young in today's times and being married um, in a generation where marriage isn't so popular, you know, this I plan to do a whole video about that. My feelings towards the subject in general. However, 
this is not that video yet. <laughs> um, this is more of me just kind of reorienting myself with you guys. Um, <clears throat> so, hello to, you know, all of you guys who are watching and specifically those who have been watching. Um, I obviously haven't uploaded in a while. I obviously got married. And so I'm like, let me just do a little life update basically for you guys. Um, and this is kind of informal like that, like a life update and almost a vlog. So I wanted to go ahead and do that, show you guys um, just what's going on around the house. Um, just show my face for a little bit, you know? Yeah, and then I'll talk to you guys a little bit soon too. Now listen, don't come for me. I just kind of feel like I know how people get when they see a woman cooking. And I hate, ooh, I hate when people who don't know you and know your situation assume your motives for doing something. So yes, I'm gonna cook for me and my husband just like I also cook for me, myself and I. Just like I did before, even before I met him. Cooking has just always been a thing of mine. Anyways, I'm just gonna, uh, Chop the root. Oh, no, they're going everywhere. All right, this is a lot. Doing stuff on camera, you guys, is just so much harder than doing it like normal. Like, I'm telling y'all, and people, like, it makes me think about how many times I looked at what somebody was doing on social media and, like, talked about them. <laughs> because it's just different. You might do something, like, totally weird as opposed to, or weirder, more different than, you know, what you would do when nobody's watching. But this got me just acting weird, doing stupid stuff. Like, it's so much easier to do stuff off camera. So, don't be sitting here talking about people, y'all. Moral of the story. <laughs> I am going to finish prepping this and then try and uh, finish talking to y'all a little bit. I mean, I don't know. I got well, some work to do at 5. It is 4.20 right now. We shall see if I can prep this food quick enough to have some sit down time to talk to y'all. If not, I'll just talk to y'all later. Mm -hmm. So beautiful. I love nature. If you don't get in tune, God paints the prettiest pictures that anyone could ever paint, period. Grabs notebook. So y'all, as y'all can see, um, I don't know if I can tell, but it's the next day. <laughs> Last night, I left pretty much when I said, you know, I had somewhere to go at five. I did some work, babysat some kids. Um, and then I got home. Well, let me start further back. Before I left, my husband got home. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I'm about to go to work, get some money real quick, get some extra cash. Um, and then I'm come back and finish making dinner. And he was like, oh, I'm not gonna be here. And so basically, <laughs> what ended up happening last night was, um, which him not being here was something that he told me about and I forgot. <laughs> and so I was like, well, shoot, by the time I had to figure out whether I still wanted to make dinner or not, because I wanted to eat with him. Um, but what I ended up doing was just eating out, y'all. By the time I got off, it wasn't super duper late, but it was like 8.30. I was like, I ain't about to cook this whole big old meal. I'm about to give me some food. Go home, watch some TV, and then when he get home, maybe we'll watch some. But that was that. So I got some Panera Bread, if you know, you know, uh, the best. Uh, came home, and that was that. <laughs> we chilled, you know, did our thing. The food was put away. <laughs> the food that I prepared, chopped up, yeah, it's in containers in the refrigerator for today. 
yeah i kind of figured that i would finish this vlog the next day anyway um if i even decided that it was a vlog this is just gonna be something whatever it is <laughs> like i said i kind of just wanted to uh reorient myself with you guys uh show you guys what's going on this is kind of the perfect time to do that me sitting on the couch i just wanted to show y'all in light of um us you know talking about me getting married we got so many things that i want to show on camera i low-key i'll put it in the probably you've seen it in the title but i wanted to do a little uh like gift registry haul y'all look at what somebody got us let me see if i can zoom in nope i can't that's okay but y'all can see it that's so cute it's me and my man <laughs> period um yeah so what i think i'm about to do is um make some coffee i'm about to open up this one package i got one package that came from my registry we were, we were registered with amazon so y'all gonna see me do a unboxing uh, y'all gonna see me do that um i just wanted to talk about that even in and of itself it's like something that was mind-blowing to me upon getting married but like not really at the same time i knew it, it was a thing but you know this whole registry thing y'all i just didn't realize how spoiled we would actually be <laughs> like if you built a good support system y'all when i tell you people will shower you i mean like my bridal shower was filled with love and gifts but then also just how many people showed up and showed out to the wedding with gifts and then how many people got things off of our registry um it's feeling like christmas <laughs> like we just been getting stuff and stuff and stuff coming in the mail all these packages all these gifts we had to unbox the week of the wedding i was like oh <laughs> all these presents <laughs> like it's giving <laughs> um not that that's a reason you know in and of itself to get married but that is something i think that just shows what do i want to say i guess the significance of it um and how heavily people really take that or how serious people take it um when you're getting married that i think they want to shower you they want to support you they want to start off you know this new life that you're having you know connected to someone um this new life that you guys that you guys are having together well um they want to prepare you for that um and so yeah i just feel so blessed like i said we got so much stuff but anyway i guess we can start there Ugh. I should move the camera back so okay i have um package stuff all on the table you probably see my notebook i'm about to use one of my keys mm -hmm. or my man's key mm -hmm. all i want for christmas is you let's see what we got oh i like you what i see And it always comes like when you get something off of Amazon, like the gift note, it comes with the gift tag. Um, and so we can keep track of, you know, everybody who we gave stuff or whoever got us what. Even though we be losing these. We got another blanket, y'all. It's exactly the same as this one. We got another one of these, like, knit blankets. Ugh, I don't like shoulder tag. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> we got another one of these little knit blankets. Uh, this one's cream. It's very cute. Very simple, but very cute. We love a good grow, you know, get on cozy. It really is the little things, man, especially walking into adulthood. I don't know if y'all seen this meme or this joke, but you know you're an adult when like you get excited about furniture and stuff. <laughs> I got so many like cute little like kitchen gadgets and whatnot, y'all, um, and like home items, home decor. And it's just it making me feel like, dang, is this really the stage in life that we've reached? <laughs> No, I'm kidding. But for real, getting excited about washers and dryers, kitchen appliances, it's giving grown. I'm about to get all wrapped up. <clears throat> Jesus. I'm about to get all wrapped up in this blanket like a pumpkin and then talk to y'all some more. <laughs> y'all, I think since the wedding, things have just been moving so fast. I've been married for, like I said, I think it's been about two weeks now. And things have just been moving very fast and it's been, I think, a lot to process. I can't say there was anything unexpected that's happened since being married. Um, it's more so just, I think, me feeling the weight of everything. Let me know in the comments, y'all. Don't leave me by myself. <laughs> if you feel like you're the type of person to um, definitely overthink, but then also just think about the gravity of things a lot. Like, when you do something, you ever just be like, dang, like, this is really heavy or this is really significant. Um, I think I've been doing that a lot and a great deal. And even just thinking about um the future a lot because of that just thinking like okay well, how is this gonna affect this and 
uh, what is this gonna look like, you know? Like, y'all, when I tell you, I haven't had to outline my videos in so long, but today, <laughs> or yesterday, man, I took out my notebook. <laughs> it was, y'all couldn't see me. I took out my notebook and it was like <laughs> scribbling because my mind has been so full, just like full of stuff since the wedding. I think what I've been doing has been focusing on the future a lot. I mean, that's not a bad thing. I mean, like me and my, I won't say me and my fiance, me and my husband both have been really intentional about planning. You know, we don't take getting married like lightly from the sense that we want to be prepared even financially, you know? And so without even realizing it, I think I realized it after talking to my father-in-law on the phone yesterday, but without even realizing it, I think I was overthinking about the future um, and just not focusing on the now as much as I probably should be. Like even like now, there's just so many goals that we could, you know, like plan for that are like short term. And here I am thinking about, okay, like what's gonna happen when we have kids? And like, you know, all that is important to think about, but we already have, you know, we did as much planning as we could essentially. Um, and so, I mean, now it's like, there's kind of just no use because you know, that time will come. Um, and it's more like, I'm, I think I'm in the season where, you know, I can't, predict what's gonna happen, you know, all those years ahead. You know, what happens when we move or what happens when, again, when we have kids or what happens when this point comes in either of our careers. You know, there's just so much future things to worry about. And I think planning is one thing, but worrying is another, you know? Um, and even planning, I think there's a thin line between, you know, healthy planning and just like overthinking, you know, trying to be God and like try to foresee the future, but you can't, you know, and there's no use in stressing about it. So I think my challenge for the next few days <laughs> is to just uh, not just overcrowd my brain with so much. <clears throat> we'll see how well that goes. But even just, you guys, one thing I didn't realize that would happen, um, just yesterday, what y'all saw of me like doing my hair since the wedding, that is sometimes just the little things that you don't realize will reset you. I think since doing my hair, I just ha kind of have this sense of maybe being like back to normal, like things, you know, like this huge thing didn't just happen, even though it did. Don't get me wrong. Don't misunderstand what I'm trying to say. I hope I'm explaining it well, <laughs> but it gave me that sense of normalcy back, you know, being back in my normal routine or just kind of being back to my normal self, you know, um, as much as I'm a whole new person, I'm still me, <laughs> you know, I did the same routine as I always do. Um, I got my natural hair back and it just gave me kind of a sense of a reset back into, you know, the, the regular hustle and bustle, I guess, of normal life. Um, and so I feel really good since doing that and even just getting back to doing something that I love, cooking, that's, that's just a passion of mine, um, made me feel really good too. So look at us, YouTube, we're, we're going places. You guys are helping me. This is real life footage of me getting my life together um, and being a hot mess at the same time. <laughs> but that's okay, right? What do we always say? I like showing uh, the real, realness of things on my channel. So this is this is real as it gets, you know. Just got married at 23 in 2023 on September 23rd, but that's a whole nother thing. <laughs> um, we were really excited about that. You know, if you like little things like that, then you can celebrate with me. <laughs> but like I said, I, I think, uh, not I think, I am going to do a whole formal video about just, I think, more so, probably my views on marriage at this, you know, point in my life and being married at 23. Um, but for right now, y'all, this is what we got. <laughs> I think I'm gonna end this video out here. Maybe, actually, yeah, probably what I'll do. I lied. I'm not gonna cheat y'all. I'm gonna show y'all the finished uh, look, results rather, of my meal. Um, and yeah, I'll probably cook later today. I think right now we're gonna just enjoy our Saturday. My man hasn't woken up yet, so I wanted to record before he came out here. I'm not hiding anything. <laughs> I just uh, didn't want to in impede, intrude on my time with him. It's our Saturday. We be busy during the week. So yeah, I'm going to chill, turn off this camera, keep my bonnet on. When my man wakes up, he'll probably chill with me. And then a little later, I'll finish dinner and I'll show y'all clips of that. And me and him are going to um, eat together as the big old happy without kids family that we are. Thanks for listening, guys. Uh, it's been a journey, but I am, I think, on my way back into getting into a normal rhythm. Um, even just, you know, from the busyness of things. Life in general is busy with work, my work schedule and his, but 
you know, when you have a big event, that definitely kind of just shakes up things, even just your sense of rhythm. And so I think I'm getting back into the swing of like our normal schedule, all of that good stuff. After a week of wedding planning, a week of weeks of wedding planning rather, but then a week of wedding events, you know, bridal shower, bachelorette, and then a week off of work, honeymoon week or whatever. It's been a lot. It's been a lot of, you know, normal schedule interruptions. So thanks for watching my journey. I'm looking forward to uh, bringing you guys with me along the next, the next steps, the next pieces of the story. <laughs> so subscribe if you haven't. If you haven't even made it to this point in the video, I just want to say, that's it. I don't even got no words for you. <laughs> What are you doing? Thank you guys so much, and I'll see y'all, I guess, later. Right. Oh, babe, no, I'm recording you. Ah. <laughs> no, it's not over. Oh, it's not over. Oh. <sighs> Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, babe. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, bro? Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, the, the, yeah, the uh the people came out. That's petty. You gotta do that and then to send his little minions. So this is what we are working with thus far. The roasted root vegetables. You know, get into it. And then this is the beginnings of my pasta. Looks super yellow. That's just garlic and like butter. <laughs> the camera don't be doing it no justice, y'all. But it looked fire <laughs> in person. Again, here is a finished food. Looking all glazed and delicious. <laughs> Roasted root vegetables and uh, pasta. Ooh, let me turn the exposure down. <clears throat> this is just uh, the Tuscan style pasta I was talking about. It has mushrooms. Uh, I mean, it's not like traditional Tuscan style. It's definitely Lord Splash. I can't see this is what I'm talking about. I can't turn the pasta normally like a regular functioning person and record at the same time. But um, I added mushrooms and onions in addition to the regular garlic, sun-dried tomatoes, cream, butter, all that good stuff. Parmesan cheese, you know. So yeah, we about to smash. Get into it. Ah! <laughs>